If you fancy winning a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Juggernaut Edition, head on over to my Twitter at TommyT999, check out the pinned tweet and get involved. But this is the Rocket League Saves of the Week. Another episode packed full of amazing saves from all of you out there. And this on screen at the moment is last week's winner. Yes, your votes gave L Mobster the top spot and a place in the save of the month and then maybe even the save of the year for this statuesque performance but a nice double save and one that was very well received by all of you out there. El Mobster moves on, plus you also get yourself a T999 branded t-shirt, so get in touch via my email to arrange delivery of that as soon as possible. And if you're playing the new mode drop shot just like Houdini here, who pulls off a great double save, make sure you get your clips into me as soon as possible, whether it be a save or a goal, drop shot will be being added to this series, or maybe even getting its very own, depending on how popular it is, going forwards here on the channel. But don't forget, it's now down to you to vote and decide. Once you've seen all of the clips in this episode, write the letter or the letters and number of your favourite one down below in the comments and only one will progress and win themselves a T999 brand t-shirt. And it is completely down to you. Will it be save A, which comes from Jet Power 12 They're 1-0 up, he wants it to stay that way and what better way of doing it than by smashing your opponent straight into the path of his teammate's shot. Gotta love that. Seeing it from the opponent's point of view, he had no control over that, and his teammate must have been going absolutely crackers at him. Save B comes from King Geo. This game is 2-1 to them in their advantage, and they wanted to stay that way, and what a save. He has come from three quarters of the way down the pitch, and this guy must have thought he'd scored. But not now. Geo taking it away, keeping them in the lead. Save C comes from Robertson RFC. Gets up for an aerial and clearance early in this game. And then it's on to the attack. But that soon changes and a counter attack is on the other way. But they have no boost left. He's now got to do everything he can for one block there. And then he's off the wall and what a flick to push the ball onto the crossbar. Epic save indeed, especially when there is no boost to even help get them up towards that ball. The rear tyre and rear wheel saving the day there. Save D comes from the Pels 95 and this one is tied at 2-2, just about to head to overtime and that double save will make sure it does. The demolition, a key part of that, then getting up into that postage stamp corner and then coming straight back down to block what was a guaranteed goal and a guaranteed win for the opposition. CV comes from York 322. This one is tied at four apiece with just 10 seconds remaining. And again, this needs to be a clutch save. And a clutch save it is from York 322. Overtime it is. And that is most definitely worthy of keeping them in that match. Let's just hope they win on to win it. We've got some teamworks of the week, and the save at T3 comes from Cheese Sandwich 12 and Big Time A Hole. And that looked again like it was a guaranteed goal. Until Cheese Sandwich kind of rolled across the ball and then rolled with the ball, spiraling towards the post, keeping that ball out. And then Big Time making sure he's in the right place at the right time to get that shot saved, deflected, and then they went up the other end and scored. Your next teamwork save of the week is T2, and it comes from OG Scump X and Oliver BLXND. And it's a great two piece here. Oliver with the first blocking save for then Scump to come flying across, clear it, and get the epic. And then T1 comes from Baldo Plays and Derp Skulls 1 2 3. Again, Baldo coming straight across the front of the goal. And then Derp doing exactly the same to block it again and keep them in this game. Just one goal behind and still with a great opportunity of getting back into this. Now don't forget if you want to vote for one of the teamwork saves after you've seen all of the clips, all you need to do is write the letter T and the number of your favourite down below in the comments to give it your vote. But these are the normal saves and save F comes from the King Nawaf who picks up one save there and then jumps off of the wall and has already now achieved the saviour medal and another epic save. And not only that, he's just taken it off of the wall and made it 3-1. Seeing these saves again. First one blocked onto the post, but then it's straight off of the inside of the goal. 
pushes himself away with a little bit of boost and tips that one onto the bar. And then, as I say, straight up the other end and gets another goal. Save G comes from Seaway420. And this one is early on in the game. Tied at zero. And it looked like he was just about to score. But now he's got to think defensively. Because if they don't get a chance now, this could be a problem. Yeah, he's now in trouble. Facing the wrong way as well, so he's gone for the reverse boost. He's demolished his opponent and managed to get back and tip it onto the post. That is insane. And we've got to see that again. A great demolition. And then he still has to get around the ball. And then force it onto the post. Look how close it was to going over. That is insane work. And then you've got Save H, which comes from It's Diamond 9000. This one, he's 3-1 up. Under a minute left, he's in a very strong position. But does not want to concede. Because there is still plenty of time left, really, just to get two goals. And they're in a bit of trouble. His teammate has missed it as well. So he's off the wall. He's flying all the way back towards his own goal. Hits the corner. And then Turtle slides across the goal to make sure that ball does not hit the back of the net. Next in your penultimate choice this episode is Save I. And it comes from Zaishi Mai. They are 1-0 down. Just over three minutes remaining. But Zashimai is going to play a pivotal role here. There is your first save. Second save, tipped onto the bar. Comes in, has to pick up number three there, which was definitely very, very close to going over the line. And it is not done there. It looks like they're getting it clear, but it's coming straight back. It's got to get straight back again to clear once more. Unbelievable work. Saviour all around there and definitely MVP when it comes to keeping in that game. And your final choice is Save J, and it comes from Lemon72528. And he's got to take a punt of where that shot was going, and he chose well. And then he gets back in to get a second save as well. If you look at this again, up high here, and then thinks they must be going top corner. So he spins the car around to stop the ball the first time, flips himself over. And as the attacker comes in, he's in there again to block once more and keep that game 2-2. So that is it, those are your clips, it is now down to you to vote and decide in the comments below which your favourite is and which one should move on to the save of the month. All you need to do is write the letter or the letters and number down below and the one with the most votes will move on and get themselves a Triple Nine branded t-shirt. And if you want to get involved in any of the series on the channel, all you need to do is go to the most recent video that relates to your clip and leave it linked down below in the comments. And don't forget, if you want to get a chance of winning a Black Ops 3 Juggernaut Edition, head on over to my Twitter, at TommyT999, and follow what the pinned tweet says, and that could be yours. If you want to check out some previous videos, you can. They're linked on screen now, including the goals of the week for Rocket League, and also the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Specialist Kills of the Week. Follow me on social media, all of those are linked to the bottom. I've been TommyT999, thanks for all your support, and I'll speak to you again in the next one.